Weekend sweep. I mean, what did you guys feel like you did so well in Illinois? I thought we competed, and I thought our defense was really good against Illinois State, um, holding them to 50 points, and then, um, you know, winning a close game against Bradley. I thought that was really key for us and for our confidence and how we were playing. Those are two things that maybe earlier in the season you were kind of down on, the ability to close games out and then stop teams. You know, what, what has been different on the defensive end? Well, I think our team is really bought into what we need to do and what we need to look like. Um, really proud of how we've had a lot of different people step up to make plays on both ends of the court. And I think that's that's really good. I've got, you know, we've had so many games that have had options. You know, we were able to find people that can make plays for us. And it's been a variety. We, we're really showing now that we have uh, consistent depth that we can rely on. I think that really shows when when Liza's shots aren't falling and other players have stepped up. I mean, you know, when, when her shots aren't falling, she doesn't look like she's getting down out there. How does she still make an impact, you know, even though it's not going the way she maybe wants? You know, when Liza walks on the court, she is a problem for the other team. And she doesn't even have to touch the ball for them to worry about her. You know, we can show video for our team where people are safe, they're hugging her. And when they're hugging her, they're not helping other places. And they're still, they're focused on her regardless of what her shooting percentage is coming into the game. They know she can score. And that really opens up uh, some opportunities for other people. And when we have that balance, it takes off the pressure. It takes the pressure off of her and, and everyone else to find ways to score. Bryce had a great game at Bradley. That offensive rebound and the and one to take the lead was one, had to be one of the best plays of the year. I mean, she got rewarded with the Newcomer Award. I mean, how much better have you seen her playing lately? Well, I thought that was the biggest play of the game for sure. And, you know, I think for her, we sometimes it's hard to remember if she's just a freshman out there. You know, she plays with so much more poise and confidence than that. She plays with great strength as well. But I think what she's doing now, she's doing a lot of little things that help us. Um, we, we talk of Aubrey Buckley type things, you know, that don't show up always on the stat sheet, but they're making t hustle plays, they're making tough plays, uh, making intelligent plays, or, you know, sometimes just doing something that allows someone else to be successful. So th those type things um, are, are really what's helping our team make plays. I was talking to her about having to play the point on offense and then <laughs> play the four on defense. It's, it's a lot of running up and down the floor. How has she handled that new responsibility? Uh, she's, we're throwing a lot at her. I mean, she's playing a bunch of different positions on both ends of the court. I think she's handled a lot of that really well. She has a good understanding of basketball. You know, she's coach's kid, and you can tell. And, you know, she has a um, great IQ. And then also because of that, we can we can throw a lot at her. We can give her a lot of different game plans. And um, she has to, you know, scouting report, work she has to guard a lot of different things because at any point she could be on the one two three or four um, so I think you know we, we love that versatility that she's allowed us to play with with a couple home games this weekend first what's um what's Valparaiso going to throw at you guys or what are you kind of preparing for them on Friday well I know they got a big score um, they have one of the best scorers in the league on their team uh, I do think they shoot the three well they're going to mix up their defenses they'll show a little bit more zone than what we saw this weekend so I think they'll be uh, you know I think they'll be tough coming in I think we have to focus and one of the things that we talked about with our team is being consistent this year and being the team that's always going to show up to play every single night that's easier said than done it's not an easy thing to do because it is a long season, but I do think the really, really good teams find a way to do that. To win those two <coughs> on the road coming into a homestand, how much does that kind of help with confidence just to know that you can win those kind of close games in the conference? Well, I think that I think it's a great weekend for us in terms of just having some momentum carrying it in. I think everybody feels better after wins. Um, you know, I think everybody understood that the, the Bradley Road win was a huge win, and it's not a huge win if you don't beat Illinois State. So I think, you know, everybody feel, feels good about what they we were able to do. And, you know, now hopefully coming in and trying to continue to build on that and, and feel good about uh, finding ways to be successful. And then Sunday, of course, the backpack game. How much do you look forward to that? And, uh, you know, how just important is that in for to you as a, as a coach and as a pack disciple? Well, you know, I think for me, um, it's just a little way that um, that maybe I can give back, we can give back. Um, it's just, you know, I think it's hard to put into words what she has meant to me, and it's hard to put into words what she's meant to women's basketball in general, um, to women, to, to athletes. Um, you know, and just, it, it still it still doesn't even seem 
real that she's not with us anymore. Um, but, you know, her foundation is, I think it's a great foundation. They're doing a lot of really good things, and, and hopefully we can just be a small part of that. What, what have you noticed about just Lady Bear fans? I mean, they're basketball fans. They know Pat Summit from watching women's basketball. I mean, what have you noticed about that kind of uh, dynamic? I think a lot of Lady Bear fans were Pat Summit fans. I think they had a lot of respect for her. Now, don't get me wrong. They were not for Tennessee or the Lady Bears. Not that. But I do think they had a lot of respect for her and her program. And I think you could see a lot of similarities between uh, Coach Burnett's program and Coach Summit's program. I really do. And I think, you know, our fans could see that as well. And I just think the respect and admiration that, that our fans had for Pat Summit still shines through. Thanks, Kelly. That's all I have for you.